new videos every day. Do you crack your knuckles or your neck or pop your back? It feels really good. So a lot of my clients ask me about popping your joints. Is it bad for you? Is it okay? Who knows? I'm Jen. I'm a massage therapist in Austin, Texas. And so when I am dealing with my clients and they ask me about popping joints, the jury's still out as to whether or not it's good. But what I like to tell them is that everything in moderation is okay. So what actually happens when you pop your joints? It's basically the sound you're hearing is the result of air being released out of the joint capsule. The same as when you pop bubble wrap that air makes a popping sound as it gets released. So sometimes there's a lot of pressure that gets built up as gases build in joint capsule. So a little pop that releases that air can release a lot of pressure, which helps to relieve tension and pain in the, in the isolated area. However, some people start to become really habitual with cracking the jaw, uh, knuckles or popping the neck. We do it without even thinking about it sometimes. And it's this repetitive movement of constantly, habitually cracking the joints. That's when it can start to become detrimental. So constantly cracking the joints starts to wear down joint surfaces and can also inflame tendons that are loose. That is what causes the joint to pop in the first place. So popping your neck and your back, your knuckles, doing it all the time can start to create a problem. But occasionally popping, cracking, when you first wake up, when you start to stretch, it's really normal and can actually be good and healthy for the joint. So, the end result, everything in moderation. Don't pop all the time. And if you are a habitual and chronic popper, I would recommend trying to stretch your hands or stretch your back or neck instead of aggressively popping. So, you would imagine that same bubble wrap, instead of squeezing the joint really hard and fast, you would gently squeeze and press to release the air from the area. So in my next video, I'll show you some stretches that you can follow along with that can help to relieve neck and headache tension and help to soften up the tension in the neck so that you don't have to pop and crack all the time. Thanks for watching. I hope this answered some of your questions. I really appreciate your feedback. Go ahead and thumbs up this video and share it with some of your friends and coworkers. And don't forget to join the Psyche Truth Network. We have thousands of videos that talk about health, nutrition, wellness. It's a great place to get answers to questions that you have. You can also learn about my practice at jenhillmantherapeutictouch.com.